Once you're nearly out of yarn, you are going to end your weaving by simply taking one of the loops and putting it onto the other finger. So I'm gonna hold it tight to this one and I'm going to go and put it on top of this finger. And now I have two loops, just like before, two rings. And we remember what to do, don't we? We always take the bottom loop and put it over the top of the other loop, okay? Just like that. Then what you're going to do with it still attached to your finger, do you see how there's that space right there in that loop? You are going to take that short end and you are simply going to push it through it, okay? So see that loop right there? I need to go through it. So I'm gonna take them and just push it right through it. Now the other thing that you can do is you can simply take your finger off. Don't pull this tight, okay? We don't want this to, loop to close up, but you're going to take those two ends and put them through that opening, okay? So I'm gonna take them and put them through, and then I simply go and I pull it tight, okay? And I actually grab on pretty tight and I just yank, 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 okay? And bounce it back and forth, okay? If yours doesn't feel like it's knotted up, just let me know and I will come and take a look at it, okay? Mine didn't get quite as tight as I wanted, so for example, you could raise your hand and I've got a special trick I can come and do to make it, okay? Uh, but just like that, and then, do the same thing on the other end. Just yank it and make it nice and snug, okay? And then you simply get to go and uh, decide which end is going to be the head of your snake and trim back it so you have like a tongue for your snake. And the other one, you just uh, trim close to the end, being careful not to cut your knot. And you have a yarn snake. The very last step is to go and put two little eyes using glue. And that is how you end your yarn snake.